guys, it's Lita. So I have a Halloween haul for you guys. This is going to be Target and Ross. Target and Ross. And TJ Maxx. So I guess we'll talk about Target first. Now, Target had the Ghoulish Garden this year. Everybody was like going nuts about and I didn't actually get to see it in person. Uh, the targets that I went to were still in back to school mode and then by the time I got home most of those items were gone because like people are like hawking them on eBay like selling them for like two G's or three G's for like the entire set which is like so dumb. Anyways I did get a little guy from that collection. Doesn't say anything but it's obviously a part like a little mini thing for the ghoulish garden um it says mini creepy succulent and i mean i'm glad i at least got this so very cute i love the bone and the vine and then i got one of these reusable bags i picked out this one the other two are really cute but i really liked the tombstones and the spooky trees and yeah, the tombstone store what sold me, so it just goes in this little pouch when you're not using it. And this is the set of pajamas that I got from Target. It's the Ouija set, so you get this shirt that is fleece. It's actually really soft, soft fleece. And then you get these shorts with it that have all the letters and stuff, so. I really like that piece that pajama set but it's still really hot here so I can't wear the shirt at all like just I would probably throw it on to go get like you know like breakfast in the kitchen or whatever I don't think I'd be able to sleep in it because it's pretty warm but it's super cute I had to get it and this I found in the dollar section the dollar spot and it's these super cute labels. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I just couldn't pass them up because they say like poison, elixir, potion, venom. I hope you guys can read some of those. But they're like decanter tags, so you put them on like your bottles of whatever they're not labeled or if they are labeled it's just cute I just like them and then they had these street signs these were like a dollar each and I loved them I found pretty much the ones that I wanted I think there was another one but I got a spirit lane haunted house and the Elm Street one and I just like them. They're super cool. Like, there's actually a road here that's called, like, Haunted House Lane. And I really want that street sign, but it's on a busy street, and I don't think that's going to happen. But. And I get one of these or two of these depending on the design every year from Target these are Pyrex dishes that they're just good to like reheat stuff uh, this is the mummy one I picked this up at my Target and I also got the bat one that if I find a picture of it I'll try and put it here that I left in Utah so my bat one's in Utah I got this one the only thing I would say is like Last week I was heating up like leftovers in one of those dishes and it exploded in my microwave. And I'm not sure why it was like the pumpkin one, which like I hate I lost the bowl, but if it had to be any of them, I would have been really mad if it was the haunted house one. So now I'm like paranoid about like heating those up in it and like it wasn't on long. It was only set for like two minutes and it was mashed potatoes and meatloaf and it just like blew up in my microwave. So just putting that out there, I have no idea if that was like, I have no idea what that was about, but yeah. 
And I got this at like a weird charity shop. I'm just gonna throw this in here before I get onto Ross and TJ Maxx. I found this ghost at like a, I think it was a Mormon charity shop in Utah, but he is a piggy bank. So that's all my chains rattling around in there. I think he's really, really cute. He glows in the dark, so that's pretty cool. Somebody painted him with glow in the dark paint. And yeah, I just picked it up because like it's it's awesome actually. I like I love it. I think it's super cute and it has a function, so it does do something besides collect dust. So this is the last thing from Target. It's one of the coffin candles, and this one is the funeral flowers scent. So I just thought these were super cute. And like you can use it for anything like a dish or whatever like for rings when this candle's gone so the candle smells good i don't know why i like it but like i normally wouldn't like that smell it's really flowery but i like that one from that candle and then the next thing i got from ross is this like batmobile thing i, I don't even know what you call this actually so yeah, this came from Ross. This is one of the first things I purchased from Ross. It's just like three bats in a row, and it's the, like, this is brass or, or something. Midnight Spell. They had a door knocker that was similar to this shape of bat that I also have. So yeah, I like this. Well, I don't know where I'm gonna put it because I forgot I needed to hang this up, so. And then the last thing that I got from Ross is this spoon rest. I really need a spoon rest, like an actual spoon rest. I have like these two skull bowls that I use for a spoon rest, but it's not actually like a spoon rest with the handle and everything. And I think this is super cute. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is what sold it to me. This like banner that says dead on it. Like I just thought that was super super cute and I like just the whole look of it is really really cool so it's got like flash art tattoos and like day of the dead stuff going on at the same time so yeah and this was also on sale like they marked it down it was like $3.99 and then this has a reduced sticker for $2.99 I don't know why it's like fine it's not chipped or anything so I was happy to find that like I think it's a really super cute find Okay, so the last store is TJ Maxx, and I got a bunch of candles from TJ Maxx, too. I just really liked the candles this year. I don't know. I just really liked them, so I got this one. I got this one because, like, the label is really cool, and it does smell good, but I really like this label. I'm sick Oracle, and it looks kind of like a Ouija board. Oh. and it's a really really strong pumpkin smell it smells good though and then the next candle I got from TJ Maxx is this one that is a DW home it says trick-or-treat and it's got a little ghost on it right there so I hope you guys can see that this also kind of smells like pump actually this smells like it smells like apples. It smells like fresh apples. And then this last one is an opium odd candle. I don't know if this is going to show up at all, but like I bought it because it says spooky and <laughs> what it says underneath it is super cool. It says ghostly in a way that causes fear and unease. And I just, I like the label. I think the label is like super like minimal but cute at the same time and hopefully I can get a close up for you guys so you can see that but that's the real reason I went back repeatedly to look for candles that were done by Opium and Odd and that was the only one that I found and then the last thing that I purchased from TJ Maxx was this mini phrenology bust they had a bigger one and 
I thought about it, but this is actually the perfect size for my coffin bookshelf, so I didn't get the other one. I left it for another spooky person to pick up, but I paid $8 for this, and it's just really, really cool. It has, like, all of the, like, parts of the head that they studied when they were doing phrenology, and I just really like it. I've always wanted one of these, so now I have one, and... I got it from TJ Maxx. And that is the last item in this haul. Comment down below your favorite item that I got in this haul. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on other social media. My links will be posted in the description box down below. Hit that notification bell so you guys know when I upload. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.